mostly because of the actually the dual density. It's just so gentle under step. And I should mention here. Mach 5 past 50 miles. Complete side note. Well, okay, a little bit of a side note. Did you hear recently that they're dropping the One One? Brilliant. I'm all about simplicity when it comes to branding and marketing. Hoka, good, good job there. Hoka Mach 5, not Hoka One One Mach 5. Good work there. And yes, there is the Mach 4. Who remembers that one? Oh man, very popular shoe. In fact, let me turn the scale on right now. We will compare these two in a minute. Um, and, and throwback to the Mach 3. I don't have it. I believe it's up in the archive right now. I don't see it out here, out here, in here right now. Hoka Mach 3, it was a green shoe. One of my least favorite shoes of the past three to four years. And then they completely revolutionized the, the lineup in the next iteration in the Mach 4. And now here we go, Mach 5. Dare I say they improved the shoe? Yes. They did, everybody. Let's dive into it. A neutral road running shoe. Twisting, but not crazy. Man, we'll, we'll put one goose across the screen for you. Uh, there's the stack height, 29 and 24, all right, for a five millimeter drop. And any guesses in my size? Pause, hit pause. Any guesses down below? Huh, huh, huh? Let's see what the scale says. Here we go in my size, 7.1, 7.2 ounces. Very, very good there. Hoka, and I can't resist. Here is the Mach 4, okay? Keep in mind, it's a little old at this point. 7.5. Yes, indeed, it did go down. Great work, Hoka. Dropping not quite a half an ounce, but not too shabby either. We're looking at a Creel Jacquard engineered mesh, and they nailed it. In fact, they improved it. And there's my lockdown. Oh, my God. Okay, well, let's first talk about the toe box. Look at the breathability there through the toe box. All right, see that? And actually, I'll just hold it up. This is not a running shoe battle, but it definitely improved from this iteration to the next. Much more breathable, perfect for summer running, perfect for uh, the hot, humid temperatures, which we don't have humidity here in Colorado, but if you do live, live somewhere that's humid, they improve the toe box breathability. Great job. Look at that heel flare. Unbelievable. Let's do the, uh, let's do, okay, a little more strength than I remembered. That's awesome though. So I love a heel flare. I love it. It's gentle. It's a little, a little bear hug on your Achilles tendon there in the back. The heel flare is this little thing that pops out there, also known as an elf heel as well in the running shoe space. Here we go. The collar, unbelievable just hugs the ankle perfectly. But let's get to the best part of the upper. By the way, there's my scores for the upper. The tongue, I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know, and this, we experienced this. At least I did, and a lot of people um, confirmed this when they picked up the Mach 4. The lockdown over the top of the foot is, uh, it might be second to none. I'm trying to think. It's unbelievable. Not too much padding, and it, they just nail somehow this eyelet chain and these laces and this tongue. It just, and again, everybody's foot has a different anatomical makeup. All right, we're all unique, uh, but this upper locked it. It's, just, it's unbelievable. All right, it's probably the highlight of the shoe for me. Great scores for the upper. I couldn't resist. I gave it nines because it just, and I think. I think it got a little bit better from the Mach 4, which in the Mach 4, I was really, really, really excited about. Moving on to that midsole, it's the ProFly Plus. It's a stacked dual layer setup, as you see here, between the orange and the white, okay? The softer foam is there on the top versus a little more firm, a little, and let's do the durometer right now. Here we go, pulling it out. Um, Let me just, oh gosh, what is my guess? I'm gonna go like 30s. Uh, I'm gonna go like high 30s in the orange. Uh, 33, okay, let's just do this side real quick. For the orange, for the dual layer, I'm getting 25 on that, it's pretty soft. And let's go with the white on the bottom, 55, interesting. They're nailing it. 
I don't want to say it's perfect, but it's pretty close to perfect. There's no carbon, just so you know, there's no carbon, there's no, um, what's the, um, there's no plastic, basically. What's the, um, nylon. There we go. There's the word. There's no nylon in that midsole. It's just the dual layer density that is, oh, it's snappy, it's fun, and it's lightweight, okay? And yes, we'll get to how I will use this shoe moving forward here in a minute. Profly Plus midsole, we're getting eights all across the board onto the outsole, okay? There you have it. Perfect for me. But I'm, I'm trying to broaden my horizons. I'm thinking of all of you out there, okay? It's a rubberized EVA to give it a little bit more, um, yeah, just a little more strength, a little more longevity to that outsole, but it's already breaking down a little bit after, gosh, what, just over 50 miles, I believe. So there it is, soak it in, can you see it there? It needs maybe a little more rubberized. Now for me, I love it, but I realize a lot of people, they're not taking shoes to 50 miles, they're taking shoes to 400, 500, 700 miles. And as always, info at Demore Global Running, Dot com. If you do take this shoe, let's say past 350 miles, I'll be interested to see what your photos look like of that outsole. I like it a lot, but I did have to uh, give it just a standard score there. Fit true to size, butter. Just butter, it fit like a glove. And that's what you're, really for me, that's what I'm looking for when I really wanna know, okay, is this shoe gonna work long term? I would buy this shoe in a heartbeat, everybody. And yes, it is available down below in case you're interested in picking it up today. Okay, comfort, we're looking at an eight out of 10, mostly because of the, actually the dual density. It's just so gentle under step. And I should mention here, see that groove on the bottom, okay? That is a softer foam right where your heel is striking, all right? So you just, you land and it just feels like it's not quite the bounce or the, it's not quite the bounce of the Nova Blast, but man, it just provides a nice little uh, cushion on, under your heel, okay? It's, that's what that gray is shining there through the outsole. Everybody, durability prediction. Ah, this is where we, this is where we struggle a little bit. We're going 350, going 350. And again, I bet it, I bet it'll go past that, but I didn't want to give it too much, because okay, when I say it's a durability prediction, a, a lot of people, I'll say six people, have emailed me or sent me photos of their Mach 4s at 200 miles, 300 miles, 500 miles. So I am starting to learn kind of what the midsoles look like past the 50 mile mark, what I take my shoes to. Uh, so that's, it's a durability prediction, but at the same time, I'm sourcing these photos from you, the runners around the world, okay? So thank you for sending them in. How will I use this shoe? Who's the best for? Tweener alert, tweener alert, here we go. Almost every single run, except an easy run. I would not buy it for easy days because I think you'd be t too tempted. I, I was too tempted to run too fast, okay? So I would not buy it for easy days, daily, tempo, commuter to the track, rip some 800 meter repeats, maybe one mile repeats on the track if you don't want to change shoes and then jog back home. Uh, middle distance, and I would go long run. It wouldn't be my first choice for a long run, but you could use it for a long run shoe. Also, more tweener alerts. Buy this shoe for training and then go rip your local 5K, 10K on the roads, okay? A little road race. Jump in if you don't want to buy uh, an expensive road racing flat and you want to protect your legs a little, like it's not a peak race. It's just a, you know, get out there and get some turnover going. I would absolutely jump in a 5K or 10K, in, I mean, or ha even really almost a half marathon in the shoe. I really would just to protect the legs a little bit more. It's got that type of pep under step, okay? There you have it. That's how I will use this shoe and who it is best for. Uh, price point, there we go, eight out of 10, $140 because it can accomplish so many different tasks in your training regimen. Sound good? Other shoes to buy for the Hoka Mach 5. I was trying to, th this was not easy. If I had to buy any of them on that list, it'd be Noosa Tri 14, you all know that much. Uh, but I'd also put in the Evo Ride 3, Kinvara 13 to an extent, and, uh, and to another extent, if you wanna go into the nylon plate category, the Endorphin Speed 3 from Saucony. Hoka Mach 5 shoe quick specs on your screen. Soak them in one more time, there you go. 29, 24, there's the weight. 
Creole Jacquard engineered mesh ProFly Plus and that rubberized EVA on the outsole. Eight out of 10, another shoe. Oh man, should we put it in? Oh, who to even take out? Oh man, you know who we're taking out? We're taking out the Nova. This is last year's shoe, Nova Blast 2. Hoka Mach 5, getting up. Actually, let's move it up here, right here. These are all the shoes in the eights, okay? There's the Kinvara. Uh-oh, Speed Goat 5. Mach 5, uh-oh, we got a, little, got a little competition going between the roads and the trails, everybody. There you have it, eight out of 10 on the nose. Bottom line, everybody, I would buy this shoe once again in a heartbeat. In fact, I will take that shoe <clears throat> to 150, 200, I'll squeeze more miles in, out of that shoe even though I have to keep testing other shoes because I like it so much. When I, you know, when I'm going high, high volume and I just don't even have enough shoes to test to get it, you know, to 50 miles, I will sneak back and grab that shoe off the shelf. No doubt about it. Comment of the day, Stuart Adams. Here you go. First two runs this week in this shoe. He was talking about the Mach 4. It is, it is an amazing ride. Not too soft, not too firm, just right with a rocker feel that makes a higher cadence easy on the leg. Stuart, thank you, sir. I think that might be your first comment of the day. I don't recognize that name. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, that was from actually a year ago. Hopefully you're still watching, Stuart. Question of the day, who picked up the Hoka Mach 4? And what did you think of it? Who picked up the Hoka Mach? You're not going to be disappointed by the minor updates. Not huge updates, but minor updates to the, uh, okay, I should say it's ProFly Plus. So it is, maybe it is a major update. If, you know, I mean, it felt better. All I got to say, it felt better under step, no doubt about it. Onward we will go. We'll toss it to the Hoka Running Shoe Playlist. Hoka Running Shoe Playlist right there, right there, right there. All right, lots of good Hokas coming out right now. Not Hoka One Ones. Right there, right there, right there. All right, Sig Beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.